Son and Lani need our help. Let me know when you find him. Hey, you know it. In fact, you'll be the first on the list. Seeing you, Ichiban. Uh, actually, hang on. You got a sec? Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Barely just got here, and Chichan's got you wrapped around her finger. Sachan's old news now, is that it? You dog. Hey, look, it's nothing like that. Besides, man, she's like 20 years younger than me. Yeah, and I'm sure that's got its perks. Come on, say it with me. Chi-chan. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts. You know, you came all this way. It's a shame we didn't get to hang out like this. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> well, do me proud, Namba. <laughs> Always. See ya. Of Dojima left everything to you. Bet you're feeling the pressure now, huh, Ichiban? <laughs> yeah. Still, I won't let him down. So, how about it? You got any more ideas for how to find those two? Don't tell me you're gonna upload another video and sit back. Hey, it's not like that was for nothing, right? For all any of us know, Akane-san could message him any second. Akane-san worked as the director of an orphanage. What's more, Halikana ran the place. There's a thought. Halikana folks will probably know a thing or two. We've already been there, though. We may not have known about Bryce's identity at the time, but we didn't find any clues either. Besides, they're not the type. None of them would have ties to a gang or anything. Maybe so, but it's a lead all the same. And it's the only one we got. We'll just have to go and see for ourselves. Sounds like a plan. A good cop always revisits the scene of the crime.
Hi. <laughs> 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 oh. Thanks. Okay. Aloha. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you. Welcome. Damn, Adachi san. Already at it, huh? Hey! Now I figured I'd go ahead and have myself a drink. You know, booze here in Hawaii is not half bad. <laughs> Good to know. Glad somebody's enjoying themselves. But oh, man, I never imagined the two of us kicking back and drinking at a resort like this. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Better play it cool. Unless we want folks to think we're from way out in the sticks. You know, you kind of blend in with the locals. Yeah, actually, maybe you blend in a little too well. You think so? I guess we're on the same wavelength. I was just thinking this hairstyle's got a bit of a Hawaiian vibe. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. Maybe I'll get a little makeover myself. After all, what better time to do it? Oh, what would you even go for? Hey, man, I like you just the way you are now. Your style's not half bad, so no need to go changing it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so I don't have to work on anything at all. Well, it's kind of comforting when some things never change. And you're my constant, man. Now get a load of this guy. Hey, you know just how to butter me up, don't you? Ah, but still, what went down back in Eugene show feels like ancient history compared to what we're up to now. Getting fired from Hello Work, getting roasted online. Man, we've been through a lot. Uh, you can say that again. Everything we spent time and effort building up just poof in the blink of an eye. I really am sorry for getting your agency involved, man. And no matter how hard I try, I, I don't think I could ever make it up to you. Oh, come on, knock it off. There's nothing you need to apologize for. Anyway, don't worry about the agency. I just wanted to know what it was like, to, you know, being your own boss. Uh, but you had everything all planned out, like uh, with the company values and stuff. Uh, seemed like you knew what you were doing. Did I really? <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah? I wanted to put my experience as a detective to good use. After all, there are some things a civ can do that an officer can't. And preventing crimes before they occur is a field that still has plenty of room to grow. I was planning on working this old body of mine to the bone. Be a little more useful to society, you know? You finally hit the ground running, too. Heck, you, you were even ready to take your business to the next level. Right. I mean, my goal was to develop subsidiaries for consultation and security. But that dream's pretty much dead in the water now. Yeah, anyway. No use crying about it. Figure it's better to put one foot in front of the other and keep on moving along. I'll lend you a hand when the time comes. <laughs> you know I'd do anything for you, pal. How's that so? I guess I should start thinking about my next business venture then. Well, I'm after we clean up the mess over here. I'm real glad you're here, Adachi-san. When you came running with Namba, I just... I was just so grateful. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much the only one who ever says that kind of stuff about me. But helping you out makes my day-to-day -day a little more meaningful. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Oh, yeah? Oh, then tell you what. What? We're gonna have each other's backs for the long haul. Even if I'm the only one getting help right now. Don't sweat it. <laughs> 
Cause I'll cash in and have you pay me back double. Ha, <laughs> sure you will. Ah, that's the stuff. I ever tell you how much I like Hawaiian booze? I do not drink too much. This ain't survive, so you're not just gonna add it to your tab. Nah, I got it covered. The bartender and I are pals now. Isn't that right, barkeep? Sure. Enjoy the drinks, Adachi. What the heck? Wh when did you two get so close? <laughs> Didn't you know? Blending in at a bar is an essential skill I perfected back when I was with the Force. You sure are a man of many talents. Must be the years of experience. You gotta teach me some of that. <laughs> All right, how about another round then? On me. I'm feeling generous today. Sweet! Hey, barkeep, hit me with the priciest drink you got. Whoa! Easy there, tiger. I'm gonna have to take out a loan, but I'll pay you back once my next venture takes off, yeah? Uh, actually, barkeep, could you just get us another round of what we're having now? Yo, Chichan. Hey, I already started drinking without you. Yeah, I can see that. Mind if I join you? Sure, go for it. Oh, yeah. The last time it was just the two of us drinking, there was a little incident. Let's just say it left me in a real bad spot. Right, right. You got drugged and tossed out in public. Buck naked. Maybe you ought to be more careful, just so it doesn't happen again. Man, that feels like forever ago. A lot sure changed, huh? When I first came to Hawaii, I didn't know a single soul. But now it's like, I've got the whole gang here. Well, it goes to show you're a real popular guy. You always end up making friends left and right. You make it look so easy. Is it really? <laughs> Personally, I think I've got way more enemies. Yeah, fair. The two of us sitting like this actually reminds me of the time I drank with my dad. Your dad? Oh, you mean the head of the Fujinomiya family? Well, everyone calls him the chairman. He's surrounded by associates at all times. But his real family? <laughs> well... We're just for show. For real? What the actual heck? If you're representing the great Fujinomiya group, then you gotta be the perfect dad, adored by all, and especially by your family. We're just accessories to help sell that image. Whenever we take a family photo, there'd be an entire camera crew. <laughs> Felt like we were posing for a company commercial. And you're taking over the company after him? I'm the eldest, so yeah. As far as Bloodline's concerned, I'm the prime candidate. Well, that's gotta be a big deal. Well, they're definitely folk. Uh, did you drink with- Huh? You said this reminded you of that- Oh, guess I did. Didn't even have fun either. Drink- I wouldn't know. I never had a- Oh, God. I no, don't worry about it. Hmm. What you went on about restru- Maybe that's all he could think about. Okay, then. But why were you two- My dad invited me out. We didn't know how long- Since we wouldn't be seeing each other for a while, maybe- <laughs> You don't have to be so negative of- <laughs> You know- uh, Of who? Because, <laughs> like, you love your parents so much. I don't think I could ever see my parents that way. It's not too late to start improving your relationship now. Uh yeah, true. What? No way. Really? A little older than 50. Oh, guess you're right. Having a drink with you is... Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but what was that again? <laughs> hey! 
Yo, Ichiban. Me? Sure. I, and not to get too heavy, but it, a, after I went to prison, she pretty much figured she never wanted me to look for her. And, and I'm fine with that, if she's happy somewhere. So I, uh, I got in touch with some old friends we had. Ones I haven't I asked if any of them had heard from her. I know how she's doing. Holy shit, did you find anything out? Is she okay? Long story short, yeah, probably. I... Right, you have to see for yourself. Yeah, uh, only... It won't exactly be easy. Yeah, in so many words, yeah. Tell me. Marie's friend told me that while I was locked, she'd already quit her job for the baby, but then she lost touch with everyone else in her life. She might have left Hawaii entirely at that point, according to them. Really? Yeah, but recently someone saw her on a beach here in the city. She's back in the old neighborhood. Uh, apparently, uh, she looks all right from a distance. Well, what do you- Marie uh, may be back on her feet. In that case, she could very well- uh, No way. And there's, you know, if I saw Marie today, meanwhile, she could be with- <sighs> Told me. I'm sorry, you didn't sign up. In your imagination, Marie- Yeah, I mean, why would- Just, uh, you're me. Tell me, there's no, no I do have a choice here. And there's a wrong. If Marie's happiness depends. But the thing is, nothing will ever be. You're worrying. Well, I. If you really can't do it yourself, I can go check. Promise. Don't let this up. Ichiban. Uh, sorry if I was out of line. No, I, I needed you more than I. <laughs> cool. You're right. All I know is that unless I see for myself ever. <laughs> I hope so. Why? Yeah, I, if I can be... You're right. Is it me, or do you say... Well, this might under... I proposed to... Whoa, whoa, you're down worse than I am. <laughs> Shit. Uh, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's what... Well said. Tommy, you okay? You look kind of upset. <sighs> do I? I? I guess that's no big surprise. Hey, do you feel like talking? I'm down to listen. You can probably imagine what happened. I ended up seeing her. Okay, so? It actually happened by accident, kind of. She was just at that same beach. Like, I'd never seen her before. And the rumors were true. She came back to Hawaii only recently. I, mean, I didn't get close, but it was her, without a doubt. What? You didn't talk to her? Couldn't. Marie was there, and her boyfriend was right beside her. Damn. Uh, how did she look, at least? From what I could tell, she looked great. And they seemed to be very, very close. They were making that beach of paradise. Laughing, kissing, staring at each other. So... In other words, she looked happy, right? Well, I mean, when we were together, she she seemed happier in other ways, you know? You know she's safe now, anyway. You weren't sure she was even alive before, right? That's good. Yeah, I could take some solace in that. I'd never forgive myself if the worst had happened. But how do I say this? Knowing she's doing so well without me, Makes it hurt all the more. I get it. I get how you feel. You do, right? Say, couldn't you try getting a bit closer, at least? You don't have to settle for a distant glance. Y yeah, but if she and her boyfriend are doing as great as they seem, I'm, I'd really be in this shit. If they catch me following them a few meters behind, and Marie will think I've gone totally crazy. Mm, you're not wrong. Okay, time for me to step up and do my part. Your part? I'll stroll by the two of them, casual, and I'll feel out the vibes. Hey, you think you could pull that off? Well, if I just clock him for a few minutes, how hard could it be? Um, yeah, sorry, but you couldn't even play it cool enough to get your proposal answered. Uh, okay, well, back to Marie then. What kind of guy was her boyfriend, anyway? Uh, probably in his 40s. Clean cut type. Looks like he's got money. All right, all right. What else? Yeah, average build, little on the thin side. 
No more brains than brawn? He looked nice. Um, how did Marie act with him? She had acted real goddamn happy. Right. That's it. You g keep going, don't stop. There's gotta be some way this isn't what it seems like. I never said we're stopping, Tommy, okay? Um, uh, first of all, we have to be absolutely sure. Huh? Look, sometimes it's really hard to gauge how a girl's feeling. If I were you, I'd want conclusive proof her happiness is more than skin deep. Any woman can look happy. It's your responsibility to find out if her face is telling the truth. Ichiban, you're right. What do you think I should do? You and Marie could just talk to each other. For all you know, she might have come back to Hawaii hoping to find you. No way. Even I can't get behind that much wishful thinking, man. Besides, I just know I'd say something stupid, make things worse for her. It's not time yet. I'll talk to her. I will, when I'm ready. Okay, yeah, sure. Thanks for listening again, Ichiban. Honestly, I couldn't get through this without you. Hey, I'm here for you. Listening doesn't cost a thing. We're friends after all. I still got no idea how to proceed, but Marie-wise. No matter what, I know it can't end like this. And I know something else. I got a good, trustworthy friend who has my back. Well, it's about we drink to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really are an easy guy to talk to, bud. Shush. That's it, then. Hey, Tommy. Oh, sit down. Get it. Oh, do you now? Oh, I might be in the mood for a story. Eh, <laughs> well, here it goes. Things move fast, all of a sudden. Don't freak out. You ready for this? <laughs> You're really hyping this up. Marie's boyfriend and I got to talking, like just him and me. He told me about her. Yeah? How'd you manage that? Well, first, Marie's friend gave me some information on him after I asked. His name's Kondo, and he's a professor, I guess. Marine. Bullshit. You know, uh, ocean stuff. Uh, you know, guy rakes it in, apparently. He's like some top fish guy. Been on TV and everything. Whoa, that's pretty impressive, huh? You think so? I don't know, man. You can't tell someone's character from some fancy title. Sure, fair enough. So, I waited. Kondo's a busy man. But I got him alone, started to chat. Get this. I used a fake name. Apparently, he's new to Hawaii, so I offered to show him around. How the hell did you manage all this? Uh, you know, I had to do it, for Marie's sake. You know, I owe it to her to see what type of guy he is. All right, so uh, you pretended to be a stranger, uh, spoke to Kondo, and gave him a tour of the city? You had no goddamn idea. I said I'd buy him a drink, and he came along without a second thought. That's nice work, Tommy. You played it cool. Right? I mean, drinking with Marie's new boyfriend was kind of sickening, but yeah, I managed. Well, I'm sh sure it was worth it. So what happened? Kondo give you anything useful? Mmm, yeah, I told him I went to the same college Marie did, and then my name's Thomas. I mentioned the place real casually, so he goes, Oh, that's my girlfriend's old alma mater. Oh, I get it. So he made Marie the subject of the conversation. Yep, Kondo said he met Marie in a bad place, just after she left Hawaii. She was working some touristy jobs before she became his research assistant. I mean, actually, Marie always did have a thing for the ocean. I guess, yeah, it doesn't make sense, huh? So, one thing leads to another, and Kondo falls for her. They dated for a year, and then they got engaged. Okay. End of the day, I couldn't find a single flaw to exploit in the guy. <laughs> I'll say this much, though. For some pointy-headed professor, he's a fucking doofus. If I had uncovered some nasty flaw, I might not have been able to stop myself from kicking his ass. Hey, come on. Don't say that. You know, right. Because I realized that I hurt Kondo, the one I'm really hurting is Marie. 
mean, the fact of the matter is, I'm an ex-con. Nothing but Yamai's goon until just recently. Society is never going to look at Kondo and me in the same way. Seems like my only option is to back down. Hope for Marie's happiness from afar. From afar? Uh, she might be hard to avoid. You're sharing the same city. Yeah, that brings me to the twist. Hmm? Huh? In just a few days, they're leaving Hawaii. For good this time. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'll never see Marie again after that. Oh, shit. Kondo says Marie confided in him. According to her, she has too many bad memories haunting her here. And Kondo's such a moron, he doesn't even know what she's talking about. Marie's chance of a happy life here died with us. She couldn't even bear to say goodbye to me. Oh, fuck it all, then. If she needs to forget me, let her. If that's what it takes for her to find peace. End of the road. So concludes the tale of me and Marie. Tell me, no matter what, don't forget that you're a good man. You might be the only one who thinks so. Then again, you might also be the only one I trust. Maybe that's how it is now, but that'll change. I wish Marie could have heard what you said. Appreciate you hearing me out, like always. I'll get my shit together, I promise. Till Marie leaves Hawaii again, I've just gotta make sure I'm out of sight. Oh, yeah. I guess so, huh? Worst comes to worst, I'll pull a fake name again. Good old Thomas. Innocent drinking buddy. Sheesh, that'd be one hell of a dance. I'd never be able to keep a straight face in your position. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. One more toast, Tommy. To Marie's happiness, wherever it takes her. How can I possibly say no to that? Go where you have to, Marie. Leave the memories behind. I'll be happy for you. Hey there, Chichan. Hey, you down to drink? Sure, happy to join you. Back in Japan. No lie. Well, quite. Do you know any? Oh, right. You kind of reckless to go. Up hey, I might be. I had a great. An instructor. Yeah, Tendasan. What kind of self to? I don't know. He made sure I couldn't. Wow. My parents, most everything. Tendasan's here. Wait. Yeah, but nowadays, <sighs> but I do send a- Well, if you fa- How old is this? 77. Well, you sure answer- Only cause I- I'm always giving- Here, have a look. Oh, he's a- I know, right? But every time- God. He used to travel- <laughs> My dad and- He was the- Sounds like he- Yeah, he's real- And I wonder- Yeah. I'd meet up- I plan on- Yeah. A smart walk. Oh! It'll even- mm. It's even got- Say- If he tries- uh. Yeah. We're really opening up.
So this is the place? Malikana's well, got quite a little setup going here. Yeah, but still, it's weirdly quiet today. Last time we came, there were kids everywhere. Oh, look, there's one. These kids are pretty friendly, right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, no mistake. Something's off. Maybe someone's pulled the wool over their eyes, led them astray somehow. Guess that bit about rescanning the crime scene holds true. Hey, Kasuga? Could mean something here's changed. Maybe. Let's find out. The flames roared and swirled about. And so the enraged Nele, in all her wisdom, cast the greedy into the purging fires. <gasps> Rice? Isn't he supposed to be back at the island? <sighs> the heck is he doing here? Welcome, Kasuga. It's nice to see you again. Uh, these guys are definitely a new addition. You don't seem too happy to see me. There a reason for the bodyguards? Ah, yes. These are Haku warriors. They are acutely sensitive to those who would wish me harm, you see. Dana and Callan out or something? Errand duty? If you have business with them, I can oblige. Though, I cannot stay the flame's judgment. Wangto's story. Was all that really true? Be real. What are you gonna do with all those kids? They're scaring me, Father Bryce. <laughs> Fear not, my child. No evil can withstand a Haku warrior's spirit. What we should do now is pray. Let us beseech Madame Nele to envelop them swiftly and painlessly. How do you like that? He's got him taking pity on us. Akane-san took Lani and ran from here. That's why you're after her. You might act calm, but I know you're getting desperate. <laughs> Normally, you keep the gangs out of the public eye. But right now, you've got all hands searching high and low. Palikana's flames purify everything they touch. They encompass all doubts, all hesitations, and return them to the ashes. What happens when you find them? Just kill them and move on? I will cleanse what I can, and must. And as for what that shall be, whatever, or whomever, <laughs> It is my role, granted to me by the Flames, to determine. You're stalling! Answer the damn question! <sighs> Arrogant demon. May her fires have mercy on you. Bryce! Heretics, be gone! I'll sue you! Come on! Cool! This is mine. I'm gonna get your heart on you! Come on! Ready when you are! You Break. think I'm stupid? Open one! Behold! Can't be bad! <laughs> ah! Don't get my... Oh. Do your work. Uh. 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 
ready as I'll ever be. I'll show you taking your time. Take your best. Got you now. Catch you later. Okay, I'm up. Got your mom in a trash can. Take your best shot. Prepare yourself. In the big way. Oh, come on. I will stop for you. Gotta do something about this. I hurry up and go. Go in it. Stronger. Think I'm getting better at this. Hey, I'm even stronger now. Look at me go. Bryce, that bastard. I guess we're not chasing after him. What's going on here? <gasps> oh, Dana, Callan. <sighs> Asuga. I see. 
So Bryce really did send you out for errands, huh? Yes. He said the food bank was in urgent need of resupply and asked if we could pick everything up. We rarely get instructions like that from Bryce himself, however. So we did think it a little strange. Right. Then you came back to this. Yes. Uh, Kasuga, about what you said, Halekana's true intentions. I just find it so hard to believe. Where's it all coming from? Oh yeah, guess you wouldn't know. I mean, I had a feeling that was the case anyway. You and Callan and all. Well, you didn't seem like the type to hurt these kids. Not at all. Uh, honestly, we have no idea what you're talking about. We never knew Bryce was controlling the gangs, nor that he was after Akane's life. Callan, Dana, I know I'm an outsider here. Heck, I only touched down in Hawaii just a little bit ago. I can't blame you if you don't want to believe me. Not when these are such big claims. So, for what it's worth, I won't ask you to. That said, you saw what happened here with your own eyes. Those were Ganja, Barracudas, and armed Polycana members. They ganged up on us and tried to kill us. <laughs> far as Polycana goes, I say there's a lot you don't know about, and more where that came from. Now with that in mind, if there's anything you forgot to tell us, would you please fill us in? For starters, we've been told that those who pilgrimage to Nele Island live in peace the rest of their days. As a result, many children here have been recognized as Haku and sent away. We've taught them they must keep the faith, that one day they can become Haku too. Of course, this has gone on for decades. <laughs> However, a long time ago, I told Callan about an experience I had. Nele Island had welcomed one of our kids, but I later saw them right here in Honolulu. Dana, you shouldn't. Uh... Once you go to Nele Island, Polykana says you're there for the rest of your life, right? Yes. So it shouldn't have been the case. At first, I thought maybe I was mistaken. Their face was totally different, after all. But still, they'd lived here for years and were practically family to me. The way they talked and behaved was just how I remembered. So, with that, I approached them and asked. They said I had the wrong person. You still think it was them, huh? I do. I don't know the details, but my guess is they underwent some kind of surgery. I mean, changing your face is one thing, but your voice is another. I'd know that voice anywhere. Without a doubt, it was the same child I thought to be on Nele Island. <sighs> I wanted to talk with them some more, but they ran off, almost as if they were trying to escape. I never saw them again. So, wait, what's it all mean? The Nele Island kids are sneaking back under new identities or something? Long Toe's story does line up if I remember right. Yeah, he said Bryce makes his followers faithful as can be. Then he slips them into Ganja and the Barracudas as spies. Dana, the kid you saw, what were they wearing that day? They were in a police uniform. Huh? Bryce isn't just shipping his pawns off into Hawaii's gangs. If he's got cops, he's probably got lawyers, politicians, and even businessmen. Anyone who holds some kind of power. Worse, he's built this over decades, with tons of people. Influence like that would give him control over the whole city, his own network. I see now. Melee Island's like a training facility. Bryce gets his pawns geared up and ready to go, then sends him back here. That can't be. He's a monster, that Bryce. He's been using your beliefs for his own gain. <sighs> what on earth do we do now? What are we supposed to say to that? I don't know. Look, you might have come to terms with all this, but I just can't do it. It's real, it's fake. I've got no idea. Even hearing all that, Polykana's teachings are all I know anymore. If they said I could go to Nele Island, I would go. 
I, I would want to go. That's what I taught the kids. That's what I believed. As far as my faith's concerned, I choose to stand firm. Oh. I need to get started on the children's dinner. Some of them won't ever have anywhere else, you know. This place is their last bastion from the world outside. If it's all right, for their sake, can you not mention any of this in front of them? Hang on a minute. You'd really send more kids out there? Even after everything we said? The chosen children only get sent to the island twice a month, and that's at the very most, either on the new moon or a full moon. Suffice to say, it won't be doing so for a while. We've got to find Akane-san fast, before the next window rolls around. This orphanage needs answers, and we need to know if the island's safe. Maybe she'll have an idea or two, yeah? Well, our mission's starting to pack on a lot of weight. I wonder the Dragon of Dojima was on the case. Yeah, but if we pull this off, we'll save more people than we know. Not a bad deal, if you ask me.